Hello Challenge. Uh, today's class is on arm balancing. So I will um, talk you through some arm balances um, and hopefully you've had a chance to warm up. But we'll start with just warming up through the wrists. Um, we put a lot of weight into our wrists and it's important that we warm them up. So spread the fingers wide here in your tabletop position and then just start to pad out through the hands. Maybe you want to walk your hands round, backwards, forward, maybe take the back of the hand to the mat. Just find any movement into this. I like to go side to side, maybe turn one, other, a little bit of movement. Just see what feels good to you. Taking another couple of rounds of breath here, another couple of rounds of movement. And then come back into a tabletop position. So in your tabletop, you're going to have your shoulders over your wrists, and then you're going to press into the fingers and lift the heels of the hands up, then slowly press them down. And again, lifting up, exhale, lower down. And again, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhaling, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Come to sit onto your heels, interlace your hands, and then just start to take some nice circles rotating through the wrists, a little clicky clicky, then come back into that tabletop position. So from here you're going to press into your thumb but try and lift your fingers up, hold here, try and keep the arm straight for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, release. Then come to sit back onto your heels, bring the forearms together and then start to draw your fingers down towards the ground. So ideally you're making a T shape rather than a Y. But if you are like this it might mean that you're tight through your forearms or maybe you're uh, needing to get a little bit more strength. I'm a little bit of a, you know, I'm not quite there yet. And if it, you can't get your hands down to a T, you might find that in downward facing dog you've got, uh, you get wrist tension and in arm balances you might get a little bit of wrist tension. That's why it's important to warm up for the wrist. So we're going to come back into that tabletop position and now you're going to take your shoulders over your wrists and then we're going to try and lift our fingers up from here. So you keep the thumb pressing down, try and lift your fingers up. Try and straighten through the arms, hold here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and release. Come to sit back, to lace, slowly rotate out. And release, you can give it a little shake off, do what you need. And then we'll just come into a downward facing dog we can start to take some movement, you might want to bend the knees, walk the dog, see how it feels. And start to lengthen through the breath, taking a nice big long inhale, big long exhale. On your next inhale, ripple forward to your plank. So that space in between the shoulder blades, puff it up to the sky. Take a big inhale, then as you exhale, push back down, we're facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more inhale, forward to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then bring your knees down, come to sit onto your heels. So the first arm balance we'll do, Apparently easier than full crow, this is baby crow, 
but um, not many people find that the case, um, particularly if you've got things around here that gets in the way. So you're going to bring your forearms down to the ground, you're spreading your fingers wide, you walk your knees to the back of the arms, pressing your knees into the tricep. You, again, you puff the space in between the shoulder blades up, you engage with the core, the middle banda, you look forward and then maybe you can lift your feet off. So this is your baby crow. Squeeze it in for the core, pressing the space in between the shoulder blades up, pull the heels to the bum. And coming back. And then we will move on to your full crow. So there's three different positions for where you can put your knees and your arms. So if you're starting out, you might want to take some pillows, bolster, block in front. And some people start out by wrapping their knees around the arms. This is quite good just to get that feeling to begin with. You might have these here for your head. So you might wrap the arm round, maybe you lift one off, maybe you lift the other. And if you fall, you can just drop your head onto the cushion and back. Second way is you bring your elbow onto your knees and you'll feel this little, it's like a little clicky bit where your elbow stops on your knee. It's like a little lock. So once you get that lock, keep it there, turn the hands round, press the fingers down, and then again you're puffing that space in between the shoulder blades up, squeezing through the core, lift one heel to your bum, other heel to the bum, and here. And again you could start to drop, push the space in between the shoulder blades up, squeeze through the core, lift the butt high, and hold. And release. The other option is for crane posture. So you can bring your knees into your armpits, spread the fingers wide again, look forward, and you're trying to straighten up through the arms as much as possible. I don't think mine's is quite straight, but one day, I'd buy these for sliding down, but you're trying to get your knees into your armpits and there. So that is your crow. You might play around with other variations, so um, practicing one leg crow, spreading the fingers wide, you can bring one knee in, squeeze, hug that knee in, practice that, and then you might extend the leg further back. So you might hold in, squeeze, extend, and back. So you can try that on both sides, knee there. So that's the um, more, well, I don't like to call it advanced, but another option. Uh, so our next arm balance that we're going to work on is um, our Tutibasana. So we've not done obviously all the warm up and the, the prep, um, but the kids in primary school have been practicing this one. So let's hope. Let's see how we'll get on here. So you're going to take a nice forward fold, maybe take some movement. And then from here, you might try and take one hand under, maybe the other hand. Maybe you drop your hips down, lift your bum up. Get that nice open. So maybe you stay here. Try to wiggle your shoulders underneath. Maybe take your hands so that your fingers are facing towards your feet. You drop your bum down. You're trying to create a little shell for your arms. So you can look up. Maybe you can start to lift your feet off. Maybe you can hook your feet. Or maybe you can start to extend your legs out. So some people are much more flexible than me and they can put their legs way up in the air and they can sink their bum down. But ideally you're trying to practice using your strength in your core. So you're lifting the butt up a little bit higher, really squeezing the legs and the arms together, looking up and 
then you can release or you can fall back. Some people like to have their hands on blocks and you can always try that. Do a little release through the wrists. options. 